Oh, hey crow. I guess nobody pays attention to the fact that this is the recording channel. Uh, huh. crow? I guess he paid oh, attention okay, to the fact that it was the recording channel. <laughs> Do those spike things have like a vacuum effect on you or something? No, there was an invisible wind. <sighs> I yeah, told you, Ethne, get the spirit. Yeah, when in doubt, if you see him like making weird movements, it's probably because he's being blown around. That sounds fun. Yeah. Also, we have, you guys were. We have sorry, you guys were. Joined. You guys were talking. Hello, you guys were talking about chaos mode. I figured that was my good point to jump in. Well. We have been invaded by local something awful Let's Play moderator Nine Gear Crow, who's gonna sit in here and ignore the rules of Let's Play recording. Good evening, folks. I'm you, sorry. You jerk. Good <laughs> thing we aren't requiring everybody to to run audio for this. Otherwise, I would have a stern talking to you. Oh shit. <laughs> Should we cap the uh? The room limit, the room size limit, though. Yeah, probably. yeah, we should probably go do that. I didn't think we'd so, need it. Sorry, I, didn't I thought think so either. I, I thought you guys were just kind of streaming. I was just popping in for a second. Everybody thought we were just streaming for whatever. Well, it's fine. I'm, I am not like. This, this that. is your fault, FP. I'm blaming you. I'll blame you because it's easy to do. Ugh. I'm just glad it wasn't me, or it wasn't only me. Hey, I was gonna say, yeah, I don't. No, it was you. It was you. you. Let's, let's not say otherwise. I mean, I could put Tai Tai in here too. I don't really care at this point. Can you forcibly hey. make someone join a Discord call? Uh, you can. Well, oh, oh you there's can drag sword. Tai in. But but anyways, if you want the briefest encapsulation of chaos mode it comes from one quote from Artix that uh, he did while I was in an episode and it's literally just him screaming chaos mode you piece of shit <laughs> I thought you were going to say why am I on fire oh oh that one was amazing too yeah like All right, we got what our is source. that noise why is Zelda why is Zelda freaking out why am I on fire <laughs> And then Faye just going, that was the best sequence of sentences. <laughs> I mean, it was it was pretty much just pure chaos. So, yeah. Can you overcap uh, a room when you if you drag someone into it? Yes, yes, you can. Uh, Ty, uh, if you want to join us, you can. Oh. So jump jump into another Discord and somebody will drag you in, or another channel and someone drag you in. Up, up! I'll, I'll jump out and he can jump in. Oh. I mean, you're here, you don't You can have. stay, I don't care. <laughs> so this is the first puzzle in the game. What we have to do is we have to take a box from one side to the other. This does not look, uh... It's not that bad, but... Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that's pretty normal, uh, Ocarina of Time block puzzles. Except you have to, no, you have to jump across these blocks. Yeah, like, the first puzzle is positioning these in such a way that you can just jump across with the box, because... Oh, okay, no, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. Alright. Is the switch on the other side, or...? The switch is on the other yeah. side, and it's a hold-down switch. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, okay. there's a pressure switch on the other side, so... Oh yes, wooden boxes everywhere. I mean, to be fair, these were inside the original Jabba Jabba's belly to begin with. Oh. Well, all I know is that they're everywhere and used for puzzles. Not for loot. Alright. I, I mean, sometimes they're used for loot. This room's a pain. You can backflip on this statue. Yes, you can. Thank you for doing something dumb like this. So, that Armo statue over there, we can backflip on it, is what it's trying to let us know. I'm very concerned about Jabu Jabu if he's got a dead hand just kind of wriggling around here. Yeah, this room is not very fun because those jellyfish like to get in, get like over there. And at this point, I don't really have a way to fight them. 
Oh yeah, you don't have a boomerang. Nope. Or or also, a tiny fish princess. Ow. I mean, you can hit them, but it hurts you. I mean, if you had gotten Deku nuts, you would have been able to hurt them, but... Uh, I can't do Wait, anything here. He was powering up. This is definitely Goku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna take the damage. Oh, good. I got a heart pack. Okay. So, the armos you can position and then backflip onto. And then off again. We're gonna get this, because it's more rupees. That way I'm that much closer to getting my Deku shield. The other thing that's annoying is... Z-targeting! Yeah. If they're too close, they will Z-target. Or they will get Z-targeted as I'm trying to do my positioning. about you. I forget. Do you still get electrocuted if you just let your shield take the hit? Hi, right, we gotta fight a Dynafoles. I mean, the Dynafoles were in uh, Goron Cave, so no, it's not... It the no, 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 no. That's a Lizalfos. Oh. Dynafoles are in Adults Guru only. Ground. And, Dr and Ganon's Tower. Okay, I take back everything. <laughs> yeah, no, Chrism, do not try to out-Zelda nerd the Zelda nerds, okay? <laughs> no, I learned it's that not one the that. hard it's way don't, years ago. Don't try and think that you're... Yeah, this game is... This game is extremely it's... rude from what I have played. Uh, the first... The, the other first dungeon we'll be going to is the Dongo Cavern. And there are some rude ass motherfuckers in there. Oh, I, I do remember a lot about Dodongo. Dodongo fucking sucks. I realized that, that you don't have to fight the rude ass motherfuckers, though. You know, actually, this shield was a good choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I, mean, I don't have also, to. I also don't think you have to fight this guy either. Like, the platform is going up and down. Uh, no, I guess I did. It unlocked. Oh. Oh right. well. Well. All right, now now to wait. Now would be a good time to go make a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, FP. You didn't zero cycle this. What kind of speedrunner are you? A poor one. Hmm. Oh. Also, I'm going to be fighting my uh, controller a tiny bit. Because A, N64 controls mapped to something that's not an N64 controller, and B, one of my sticks is sticking a little bit. Uh, hooray, hearts. <laughs> you did it. You're less dead. Well, I mean, I was happy for it on my first playthrough, because I think I got up here with, like, half a heart. But, you yeah, know. Alright. I can't defeat that, so there's actually nothing to do in this room other than steal these rupees. Alright, there we go. That gets me to all the shield, all the uh, money I need. Yeah. That's another thing this game does a lot, is that you, like... It puts you in a lot of... It, it's a lot of mandatory backtracking. As in, you have to go in partway into a dungeon, leave, and go to another one. Mm-hmm. Ew. I mean, like, I mean like, we're not even like, finishing like, this one. Yeah, like, literally, right here, it's gonna be like, okay, great, you got your sword. Now, don't come back until you have boomerang. Yeah, we got the sword and we got silver scale, and that's that's was a, that was why we came here. All right, and that set us up for later. Do, like, the NPCs tell you anything, or are you just supposed to learn this? Don't worry, I play Metroid games. I'll remember things. Uh, for the record, admittedly, ZFG didn't fucking talk to, like, anybody, but it does not seem like there's very much guidance in this game. Welp. 
there's not too many NPCs that I've seen. There's like the dudes here in Zora, and I think that's about all that I discovered. Yeah, but the ones in Zora, like, they they don't even, like, say anything helpful. Like, there's one guy who's, like, who literally just points out, yeah, they they, they removed the loading zone from the main entrance. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's his text. Like, okay, thanks. All right, so we've got both shields now. Man, that's a crazy markup on the Deku shield. Yep, it's twice as expensive. But that's good that we got this now, because otherwise I would have had to, like, go and grind out some rupees. I knew where to do it, but... So, how much does the Goron tunic cost, just for reference? Um, I Three... didn't check, but it's probably 350. Oh. It's 350. That's more and you can't even... And you can't even equip it till Adult Link anyway, so... you Well, you actually can't buy it until you're Adult Link, so... I don't have a big wallet. Oh, yeah, the wallet. Fair enough. Alright, so the next thing to do is now that we got Silver Scale, is we're gonna go down to Lake Hylia. Also, random switch in the middle of Zora's Domain, sure. Just kidding. Yeah. It's the Lost Woods now. What? What, well, huh? Yeah, so basically, don't expect anything to go where you think it is. just this, kind of the long and short of it. This might as well be an entrance randomizer in some places. Also, it's playing uh, Beware the Forest Mushrooms from Mario RPG. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, because sure, why not? Hey, Skull Kids. Like, Yoko Shimomura and Koji Kondo are totally the same composer. Alright, so there's they two are guys. BF. There's two guys in that and that in here. So it must be this one. Wrong. Yeah, there's no sense to these guys. no sense to the Skull Kids. We can go to Goron City. block your way or anything? No, they just run away as you get close. Okay. Uh, the one that I'm looking at and just jumped away right now is a dead end. It just loops you back. This one, though, we're not going to go far in here because I hit a dead end. This, but This one goes to... Oh, yeah, this, yeah, this is one of those new... This is a brand new uh, dungeon. Completely... It's a completely custom area. This is, and like, there's a bunch of these little areas in the game, and these are really good. These are pretty good. Uh, I, there's one room I don't particularly like, but there's a... I don't think I can complete this right now. I think I need the boomerang to finish it. I believe that is correct, but... Because there's like, there's a key on a ledge that I don't think I have any possibility of getting. However... Is this a full dungeon, or like... Ice cave yep. equivalent mini dungeon. It's kind of halfway in between. Hard to tell. Okay. Like it does have its own set of keys and stuff like that, but it does not have. But it, it's not like you're not gonna find a boss at the end. All right. So I got some resources. I'm gonna want a few more of those Deku nuts. That would probably be a good thing to have. There's a crystal switch behind the wall. Good place for it. I mean, you can see it. It's just a matter of, hey, can I actually hit this? And yes, you can. Does this game expect you to pull off any glitches? No. Uh, because no, it, it, spe not, it specifically it says not, no, but... It, yeah, it doesn't require glitches, but... Knowing how to do some basic glitches will help immensely. So let's see. I said I wasn't going to go very far in here, and I'm not really going to go past the end of this room, I don't think. Because it's not really worth it to keep going right now when I don't know how to do the rest. Switch. Oh, there's the switch. It's underneath. This almost looks like something from either Twilight Princess or Majora's Mask. I thought it was a Skyward Sword reference. Deepwood Shrine as a name sounded uh, familiar, but... Yeah, no, no, I, I see where you're coming from in that. It does sound like something... The name sounds like Skyward Sword. Yeah. Finish Cap. 
The layout of this room looks a lot like it looks very twilight. This, this this is a Twilight this, Princess looking room. Yeah, this yeah this shrine is very Twilight Princessy. Yeah. But uh, Deepwood Shrine is the name of a Minish Cap dungeon. Oh, is it? The first one, even. Huh. Oh. Well, how about that? Uh, it spawns some platforms to the right as well. Yeah, but I think I need to get hit by that first. Yeah, that's another thing this game does is put switches that spawn platforms but don't show you. Yeah, that's probably the worst thing it does is that there's a ton of new switches and it does not tell you anything about what those switches do. And I mean, I understand getting annoyed at like Zelda switches. It's like, okay, I press this the fifth time. You don't need to show me it unlocking the door every time. By the way, that's what I'm talking about is a key on the ledge. And I don't think I can get it any other way than that. Oh, <laughs> I see. Like, is it just a matter of him not being able to like get the in-game cutscene engine working to show off what the switch does or what? I don't. I mean, that he's that's got... a distinct. That's a possibility, but the intro cutscene was totally different. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I, um... He's got some cutscene stuff that's right, but, like, platforms like that just don't seem to do it. And he uses a fair bit of those white platforms. Yeah. He uses them a lot in, uh, the original dungeons just to restrict or allow access to different areas. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, FP, something that I will warn you about, because it happened on ZFD stream, be very careful with any keys you get in these kinds of dungeons, because the game, for whatever reason, tends, like, it kind of lumps them together, and it will use keys from one area in another, and it is possible to screw yourself out of certain areas. Oh, so... It's kind of like original Zelda in that keys are... You're not really supposed to, like, leave and be able to use a key in another dungeon. I guess. But you can. And All it right. is possible well, to fuck yourself because then of that. I will pick this up and I'll go use it on the door. And then... Yeah. Also, Young, Young Link isn't really meant to have keys. So there is no key counter. Oh! To be fair, I think that's more because this, this isn't the area dungeon. is not classified as a dungeon. That might be. So it doesn't. So it doesn't show the counter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's true because I do remember seeing a. I think you do see a key counter in like I wonder Spirit if Temple. Killing this guy would uh, make. No. I was hoping maybe defeat all the enemies and something would get me up to that key above. Yeah, because the key over there uh, is used in, like, three rooms from now. So, we're not going to continue that way. But yeah, but this, this area is here, and it looks very nice. Yeah, it's kind of neat to have a completely new dungeon to run around in, even if it's kind of weird. But, no, our real goal is to go to Goron City. And, ow, man, that's a, that guy's a sniper. <laughs> FP getting owned. That's just, that's how it goes. I ain't even mad. <laughs> 